spray application of agrochemicals is an essential part of pest and disease control in commercial apple production around the world. Safe, effective and efficient spray application requires the use of the right product to control the pest or disease. It must be applied at the right time and at the right rate to achieve an effective chemical dose with the right coverage. Remember the four R's, right product, right time, right rate, right coverage. Agrochemical labels prescribe a spray mix concentration that will deliver the right rate if the target plant is wetted until the outer canopy starts to drip. This is called spraying to the point of runoff. The spray application volume required to reach the point of runoff is determined by the size and density of the target tree. Larger trees need more spray. There's a good range of effective agrochemicals available in Himachal Pradesh, so provided the product is true to label, most pest or disease problems that occur can be related to either poor spray timing or to inadequate coverage or dose. There is a range of sprayers available in Himachal Pradesh and it is important to understand the limitations of each type of sprayer and to confirm that you are achieving effective coverage. Modern trees on dwarfing rootstocks can be hand sprayed with a wide output band of fine droplets. This is much more efficient than the narrow jet of large droplets required to spray traditional large trees. Only spraying downwind can result in poor coverage. Best coverage in modern trees is usually achieved by spraying into the wind and allowing overspray to be blown back onto the tree. To minimise operator exposure, this is best done by standing at an angle to the direction of the wind. Small, open canopies may be treated from one side in this way, but large trees will require spraying from all sides. Don't spray beyond the point of runoff. It just wastes chemical onto the ground. Agrochemicals are poisons that are used to kill something in the orchard environment. Unfortunately, many are also potentially toxic to people as well. Chemicals can enter the body through ingestion, inhalation and through skin. Of these, skin exposure is the most likely to occur. Chemical poisoning to people can be immediate as a result of exposure to a large dose or it can occur as a result of repeated exposures to lower doses of chemicals over time. Both types of chemical exposure are dangerous and the best solution is to minimise the risk of exposure. The biggest risk of poisoning occurs when handling concentrated chemicals during mixing and from spills during transport. Exposure during spraying is also a risk as toxicity can build up over time. The best way to eliminate risks is to identify and avoid the most dangerous chemicals and select a safer alternative. There are acute toxicity groupings for most of the agrochemicals used in Himachal Pradesh apple and pear orchards. Often, chemicals that are high risk to humans are also harmful to beneficial insects. Where possible, we aim to minimise the use of insecticides that might disrupt biological control in your orchard by using less toxic, more selective alternatives. The next step to reducing risks from using agrochemicals is to use protective clothing and wash yourself after any concentrate exposures, after spraying and before eating or smoking. Skin exposure and absorption is the biggest risk. Gloves, face and head coverings help reduce exposure. Waterproof gloves are a sensible investment and will greatly reduce the risk of harmful exposure to chemicals. Remember, wash hands and exposed skin as soon as possible after spraying and immediately after any exposure to concentrated product. Wash with cold water to minimise uptake through the skin. Also, change out of and wash clothing that has been exposed to chemicals during mixing or spraying. Triple rinse containers as part of the mixing process. Flush spray hoses and pump with clean water after use. This will minimise cross-contamination and help keep the equipment working well. 
correct storage of chemicals is important. They should be locked away in a cool, dark place to prevent them from degrading. Keep them away from children and animals. Agrochemical residues on plants and fruit degrade over time. You should avoid working on freshly sprayed trees and do not harvest anything for human or animal consumption from under or close to recently sprayed trees. Some agrochemical product labels will have withholding periods on them. This is the number of days that need to pass from the last spray before the crop can be safely harvested for consumption. All produce should be washed before eating it to help remove any residues. Remember, the safest spraying happens when you can avoid using dangerous chemicals and substitute these for more selective alternatives that will almost always be less disruptive to biological control in your orchards. When you are spraying, it is especially important to avoid exposing yourself to concentrated chemicals and wash off any splashes or spills as soon as they occur. Wear gloves and head and skin coverings and wash clothing and skin after spraying and before eating. Avoid inhaling spray mist. Effective spraying requires you to get four things right. Select the right product, apply it at the right time, at the right rate, to achieve the right level of spray coverage. Big trees are hard to spray well, and spraying smaller, modern, intensive trees on clonal rootstocks should allow you to improve coverage and control and use sprays efficiently. <laughs>